Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most terrifying, frightening, and disturbing animated movies. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Number 10, The Nightmare Before Christmas. What a joy to think of all we'll have in common. We'll have conversations worth having. On the surface, The Nightmare Before Christmas is a goofy musical about Halloween messing with the traditions of Christmas, but we can understand how some folks might choose to avoid watching it. Now in the box, we'll wait and hide until his curiosity entices him to look inside and then we'll have him one, two, three! As whimsical as it can be in its own twisted ways, The Nightmare Before Christmas does contain some frightening visuals, particularly during the This Is Halloween and Making Christmas numbers. So perhaps those who consider themselves to be faint of heart should hold off on watching this until they feel comfortable with the imagery. The same could absolutely be said for Corpse Bride. You can't get married looking like that. <laughs> Number 9, Monster House. Oh, get off my lawn! Oh, trespasser! Alive? No. One could joke about motion capture animation being disturbing on its own. Heck, we almost considered the Polar Express for this list for that reason. However, Monster House manages to be a perfect horror movie that everyone in the family can enjoy, assuming they like being scared, of course. Hey! You! Stay away from my house! She attacks anyone who comes near. With every gag and joke uttered, there are shots where you feel truly scared for the kids as the sentient house takes out people in some pretty vicious ways. For us though, we will never forget the shot where DJ and Chowder look back and get a brief flash of the house's horrifying face. Number 8, The Secret of Nim. Hello. Uh, I'm Mrs. Frisbee. Uh, uh, I, I was told to see Nicodemus. Are you Nicodemus? We'd be remiss if a Don Bluth movie didn't make it on this list. And The Secret of Nim is the top of his work in terms of disturbing and scary animated movies. I don't get it. See what... <laughs> With Nicodemus out of the way, what's to stop us from taking over? The movie explores many heavy themes that are further heightened by its rotoscope animation. Not only will you witness the struggles of taking care of a deathly ill loved one, but you'll also experience the harsh realities and brutal nature of the animal kingdom. Oh! Run! The cow is here! Run your legs! Run! It's moving day! This includes some of the horrifying things humans can do to animals. It's a spectacular film all around. Just know that this is not a fun film, or one you'll want to rewatch. The owl will make sure of that. Number seven, The Brave Little Toaster. I'm glad the master has such good appliances. Yeah, couldn't get any more modern. They're, they're, they're wonderful. The Brave Little Toaster could have just been a cute movie about a cute kitchen appliance doing cute things. She knows how to love me, yes indeed, but you don't know what you do to me, do the food, oh Rudy. It could have been. But no, instead it chose to scar a whole generation of kids several times within the span of 90 minutes. There's the scene with the flower, Toaster's Nightmare, the Chop Shop, the Junkyard, and that's all without getting into the general violence. Rewatching it now, we'd be amazed if at least one kid didn't walk away with a brand new phobia. How are we allowed to watch this stuff? Number 6, The Black Cauldron. Ah, the Horned King. <gasps> Disney movies once showed that they weren't afraid to get dirty, dark, or grim. Penguin. 
But of the entire Disney collection, none have come as close to instilling a certain level of fear as the Black Cauldron. From the intimidating environments and the Horned King's appearance to the music and death of one character, this truly is the most dismal Disney movie we've seen. Someone stole all our frogs! You evil, nasty people! You shall all be turned into frogs and eaten! Granted, it isn't as creepy as the other movies we're about to get into, but we wouldn't be surprised if most House of Mouse fanatics skip over this one. Number 5, Mad God. Stop-motion animation and horror aren't the first two genres we blend together, but Mad God shows how it can be done. <laughs> Running just a little over 80 minutes, Mad God takes viewers for a ride through a world that has been forever tainted and traumatized by the horrors of war. <laughs> The violence is never ending, as animals are held captive for experiments, and human beasts roam freely at the top of the food chain, and factories supply husks to sustain higher life forms until the end of time. What's on the surface will disturb most viewers, but what's more disturbing is how some bits of Mad God relate to the modern world's political and social issues. Don't be surprised if this sticks with you long after viewing. Number 4, Watership Down. The new officer, sir. He's gone. Big Greek. He's wounded, Sherville, and taken a crowd of the mark with him. For those who love animals, especially rodents, this one might be hard to sit through. I, I think he's gone. We've got you out, Bigwig. You're free. Bigwig, please don't die. It's no use. We, we got you out. What should we do without him? Watership Down tells the story of a family of rabbits seeking refuge for a new home after their old one comes under the threat of desolation. What follows is a series of unfortunate events that will probably make you cry and, if you own a rodent as a pet, make you want to hug them as you sob. They think I'm mad, but you know I'm not, and you still won't listen. Really, some of the moments you'll witness in Watership Down will make you forget all about Bambi and the Lion King. <laughs> Can you run? I think not. I think not. Number three, Soul Station. Some folks would argue the less details and visuals, the less scary things can be. Soul Station completely debunks that notion. A prequel to the live-action Korean movie Train to Busan, Soul Station explores what life was like before the events of the previous movie. But it isn't just the zombies and viscera that make this movie scary. <laughs> <laughs> Impending Doom is the name of the game. Hei Soon and Ki Won's struggle to make ends meet is depressingly relatable to some, but it is nothing compared to the 0 to 60 acceleration of going from normal life to zombie outbreak in which they find themselves. <laughs> Number 2, Coraline. Sorry. So sorry, mother making me. Don't wanna hurt you. Coraline could have very easily stolen our top spot, and it almost did. Since its debut, this movie has been considered one of the most frightening kids' movies of all time. From the set pieces, to the color schemes, to the buttoned eyes of the Otherworld inhabitants, everything invokes that sick-to-our-stomachs feeling of something not being quite right. Home? We've been waiting for you, Coraline. For me. Yep. Wasn't the same here without you, kiddo. I didn't know I had another mother. Of course you do. Everyone does. It isn't until the last third of the movie that Coraline finally takes a hard turn into its horrific imagery. They say even the proudest spirit can be broken with love. And trust us when we say, if you haven't seen this movie yet, it will follow you for the rest of your life. And if Coraline doesn't, Paranorman certainly will. What? 
Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The Plague Dogs. Cujo has nothing on this canine flick. We have learned, not because the research station told us of their own accord, but because the media reported it, and they could not deny it, that these dogs may have been infected during their escape with bubonic plague. The Last Unicorn. This fairy tale film is not all sunshine and rainbows. Oh, she'll kill me one day or another, but she will remember forever that I caught her, that I held her prisoner. Fears of the Dark. You're going to need a colorful palette cleanser after this. When you are afraid, it is difficult to breathe. It is difficult to move. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Perfect Blue Sometimes, you don't need grotesque visuals or horrifying character designs to truly terrify an audience. Sometimes, all it takes is a taste of reality, something that filmmaker Satoshi Kon is very familiar with. Perfect Blue tells the story of a pop idol named Mima, who retires from singing to pursue acting. However, not everyone is happy with her decision, and someone is pretending to be her while carrying out a series of grisly murders. It's alright, you don't have to worry, I'm here. You will feel her fear throughout the movie's 80 minute runtime as you're constantly guessing who could be the killer. Adding to the fear is when you realize how relevant Perfect Blue truly is even today, especially for women on the internet. What's the scariest animated movie you've seen? Did it make our list? Let us know down in the comments. I told you, can't you tell? I'm the real Mima. <laughs> Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.